Hi, this is Ron Gannett and welcome to my home here in beautiful Saddlebrook, Arizona. As we approach the month of November, everyone thinks about Thanksgiving and you can't watch the television or read a newspaper or a magazine without seeing someone give you some tips on how to celebrate the season. Well, that's exactly what we would like to do with you in our videos every week during the month of Thanksgiving is to give you tips on how to be thankful to demonstrate the trust that you have in the God of heaven. I don't think that there is any passage that says it better than Psalm 100. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he who hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastures. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name, for the Lord is good. His loving kindness is everlasting and his faithfulness to all generations. My friends, I love that passage because it tells us to enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Every day, you and I should be looking up to heaven and saying, how can I enter his gates with thanksgiving? How can I enter his gates with praise? But the problem is, I wake up every morning and I don't do it. <laughs> he is beckoning, he is waiting. And I ask myself, how can I remind myself during this Thanksgiving season to give my Lord and my Savior all the praise that is due Him. Well, you know, I have found a very corny way that I do it in my life. Do you want to hear it? Well, you know, you may think this is strange and crazy, but as you listen to what I have to say, think about some crazy thing that you might want to do. Whenever I get in the car, which I do most days, I turn on the radio. And as I sit there and listen to music or talk radio, hearing stuff I know what they're going to say before they say it, I think to myself, is this stuff really becoming junk food for my soul? And then I think, how much time do I spend talking to God or praising Him? And so I've developed a little custom. When I turn on the radio and my mind is impressed with the the junk of what I'm hearing, I simply turn the radio off and say, God, as I drive, I'm going to pray and I'm going to praise you. And I look around my, my universe. I see the stars, the sun in the sky and the people driving by. And I use that opportunity to thank God for what he has done for me and who he is. Now, you know, that sounds a little corny, but it works for me. What could you do that would work for you? And then you ask yourself, well, what would I say if I praise God? Maybe like what the Apostle Paul said, but thanks be to God for his indescribable gift in Jesus Christ. Oh, my friends, there is so much you have to say to him. There are so many ways that you can thank him. I challenge you during this Thanksgiving season to find a way every day to remind yourself to enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise.